Happy Monday to all you awesome movers, groovers, bumpers, and shakers out there. It's another beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. Weather looks to be a perfect 69 degrees with bright sunny skies all day long. Out on the roads, the 405 is bumper to bumper from the 710 all the way down to Westminster Boulevard. Looks like the 10 is crawling all the way into Santa Monica. An accident on the ones got traffic at a standstill. All right, that's enough. You already knew there was traffic here. Radical Time Southern California is a board rider's guide to this weird and wonderful place. From Malibu to the Mexico border, we're gonna show you how to do SoCal right, so let's go. Where better to start than Los Angeles? The city of angels, or the land of broken dreams, or the land where angels will break your dreams, or something like that. Whatever you call it, it's definitely a good place to start your trip to SoCal. LAX is the biggest and cheapest airport in the area, so fly here. You might even get to see some waves on your way in. Speaking of waves, here's Malibu. It's been described as the place where ancient surfing transitioned into modern surfing. Spend the day here at the Boo, summon your inner Mickey Dora, drop in on a celebrity, and have some fun. too mellow for you? All right, let's turn it up. Hit Venice. You can surf. You can skate. Join a drum circle. See a world-renowned doctor? Or just let yourself become one with the insanity. Now, if you're still craving culture, drive inland and check out the spectacle that is Hollywood. But if that's not your scene, keep driving into the mountains and you'll hit Big Bear Resort. Head back down to LA. On the southern end of town, you'll find El Porto and a few other beach breaks that go wild in the winter. Next stop down the SoCal coastline, the OC. It's a place as decorated as Disneyland itself. Welcome to Surf City, USA, for real. Huntington Beach won a legal battle with Santa Cruz for the official rights to that claim. HB has fun surf nearly 365 days a year and is a cool place to cruise around, check out some things, or just get lost at the legendary US Open of surfing. 
punch? Head to Newport. For every jetty, there's a peak, and there is a lot of jetties. Just pick one and go. The most infamous zone in Newport is 54th Street. You may have heard it referred to as Echo Beach. Generations ago, between these two jetties, a group of kids like Danny Kwok shifted the norm from white surfboards and black wetsuits to, well, this. is a great place to get barreled and an even better place to break a board. Good thing there are a ton of shapers around, like Matt Violas at Lost in San Clemente. Matt's got a magic board for every wave around here, from Salt Creek and the San Clemente beach breaks to the world famous lowers. Pretty much ride a performance or a performance hybrid just about any day, six months out of the year down there at Trestle. So, and if you're a guy coming from out of town and you're truly you know, there's a lot of locals, there's a lot of regulars, there's a lot of everything. And you definitely want to have paddle power and you want to um, you want to look good on your first couple waves because if you cook it, we're not going to give you anything. <laughs>
Once you've crossed the train tracks and hiked back to your car, head south again to San Diego. Dodge some tanks as you drive through the marine base at Camp Pendleton, and 15 minutes later, you'll be back into some waves in Oceanside. Surfed out yet? Of course not. But you are probably hungry. Southern California is known for its Mexican food. Every town has its favorite spot, with each town claiming their spot to be the world's best. But if you're not in the mood for Mexican, there are plenty of health food places around. But In-N-Out Burger is not one of them. Need to burn that burger off? Encinitas has a stretch of fun waves. And when you get back on land, you'll find some cruisy communities with a ton of cool bars and restaurants. And while you're here, it's probably worthwhile going for a skate. slam wasn't enough, La Jolla's got some reefs that'll help you have another. But beware around here, it's important that you respect the waves and the locals too. Both of them demand it. The closer you get to downtown San Diego, the crazier it gets. Pacific Beach, Mission Beach, and Ocean Beach are full of transplants from all over the world. It's a good place to meet people, a great place to buy a shark tooth necklace, and an all right place to get away. you're only a few miles from Mexico. The border is just over there, always tempting you with tubes and tacos on the other side. Although really, that's a whole new adventure. Uh, no hablo espanolo. Um, taco? El uh, burrito? El fireworko? Who said anything about fireworks? <laughs> Move 
Mikey or Zeke right now? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm right out.